about $160 billion of well-being snacks out there, and we want to capture more than our fair share. How much work do you have still to do on that front with brands in your portfolio that are working, like Oreos, Chips Ahoy, Cadbury, some of the sweeter brands, how much retooling do you have to do to try to get more on trend? You know, uh, consumers still want indulgence. I think I think there's always a sense that, oh, everybody's moving over to, uh, to, to well-being. We certainly, on our more indulgent brands, we're continuing to evolve them with products like Oreo Thins, with products like um, Bubbly Chocolate, uh, and uh, making sure that we have portion control packages. So there's all sorts of ways to meet the consumer's needs. But at the end of the day, there's no question it is a trend everywhere in the world. And as the world's largest snacking company, we intend to capitalize on it. And you're moving forward despite the fact that the deal speculation continues to swirl. It is at its height right now. Why do you think so many people think that you are the next logical target for your former company, Kraft, and 3G? You know, um, there's a lot of speculation out there, and we can't spend a lot of our time thinking about it. If you uh, Step back a second, though. When I split the company, I did it because these were two very different portfolios, and they actually have shown themselves quite capable of creating great value for their, for their respective shareholders as separate companies. Our, our company has created uh, over $60 billion of market cap uh, as a result of focusing on snacks, and we're just going to continue that focus. We've been quite successful even in this challenging macro environment. And uh, I have great confidence that some of the programs we're going to talk about today uh, at the uh, analyst conference will continue to drive our growth. But some of that market cap has been created on speculation of a deal. Were you surprised to see the stock drop 5% on Friday on word that Kraft Heinz was chasing Unilever? You know, there's, there's lots of folks that come in and out of stocks. And uh, uh, as I said, uh, our, our, our focus remains on continuing to deliver what we believe is a more sustainable model of top and bottom line growth.